want to say Open the eyes of my heart, Lord Open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you How many of you want to see God? How many of you want these to see God? Do you know the Bible says Be aware of who you are talking to and how you talk to people and how you treat other people because you never know when you're entertaining a stranger who could be an angel he could be an angel so that's why you don't judge we don't judge each other's like because based on the appearance of how you look or how someone appears to you so just ask God to open up your eyes of your heart to see people how he sees people because man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. So if you line your will up with God and say, Lord, what do you want out of my life? You know, let me see other people and situations the way you see them. Let me have a compassion heart like you. Let me have mercy on people like you. Have mercy on me. How many times has God has offered his grace and mercy to you? in certain circumstances, right? So then you put yourself in that situation. Not as if you were God, but why not become like God and act like God? Because if he lives in, breathes inside of you and has his being in you, and you are his holy uh, temple where he lives and dwells and reigns and has free will, you know, if you surrender to God, then you have given up all your rights. You are no longer your own. You have been bought with the price. So if that is the case and you are in line, alignment with God's will, and not just your own, living your own way, but living his way of doing things, okay, then you will see other people as he sees them. Your heart will become soft and compassionate. You will no longer have a heart of stone. You will have a heart of flesh. So basically, by God living in you and you allowing him to walk in and through you and guide your every step, you're just a vessel being used. You're just a body with a mind and a brain that God gave, gave you to use. However, the spirit is leading you. The Holy Spirit is guiding you, okay? So you listen to your intuition. You listen to your intuitive gut feeling that normally and, and most always is the Holy Spirit nudging you or guiding you in some way to do something to go his way. I think I'm on the wrong street. Um, okay, that's all. I'm going to keep going. So anyways, that is it. That is all. That's the word I have for today. And I just love when I'm inspired and led by the Holy Spirit to come on YouTube and make these messages for you to, to actually um, be, 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 be of service, you know, be of service and do God's bidding. So, Lord, have your way in me. Use me in every way. And, Father, those that are on the sound of my voice, I pray right now that you give them their intuitive intuition nudges and, and hunches and be prompting and leadings of the Holy Spirit that is so resides in them as well. And that they recognize it's you because you said my sheep shall know my voice. So however God talks to you, most most times you guys know how God talks to you. Now you can push that voice out all you want and ignore it. He's not going to keep um, knocking and banging on your heart, the heart of the door of your heart. He's just not. He's going to wait for you to be ready, but he's always going to be there. He's always going to be looking for you to um, acknowledge him. And then Psalm 37, 5 says, uh, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. You know, God is ready to pour out blessings onto you. He wants us to repent and do right. He wants to have a relationship with us. He just wants you to because he's already said he's he loved us first. Number one, first and foremost, he already loves us and has loved us first. And if you say you love God. Then you would want to follow him if you say you love God then you will forsake everything else your ways your the things you do the things you know you're not supposed to be doing but you still be doing them like is that too much like right 
for him to ask of us to stop? Stop what you're doing? Because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you used to? Is it too much to ask for him to ask you, stop doing what you're doing? Stop doing what you used to doing and start getting uncomfortable? Get out of your comfort zone and do what I'm asking you to do? Because it's for your benefit. And it's not just all about you. It's not just all about for us to be blessed, even though that comes with it. It's his law. He is going. He has to bless you. Obedience is better than sacrifice. So if you listen to that still small voice of the Holy Spirit who lives and reigns and, and has his being inside of you and does what you allow him to do in and through you, you will be blessed. But it's, you know, it's such a good feeling to bless somebody else. You know how good God feels when he blesses you, when he blesses us? It's like an uncle or an auntie or a grandma or a mom or dad who really loves their kids and loves to see their kids happy and to keep a, a joy and a smile and just joy in their heart and a smile on their face. And you know that kid better than that kid knows that kid. So you know that what that kid is capable of. So you give your kid good gifts, even when they don't even ask for it. But when they ask for it, you either make them work for it or you ask them to do something. And if they're obedient, you're going to give them what they want. That's the same thing with God. He loves us. He loves you. Whatever you're going through, give it to God. That's what it means to let go and let God. Let go and trust him because everything's going to be okay. He's got, he always makes a way. You haven't gotten this far by yourself. So I hope this blesses somebody. If so, leave a comment down below. All right. Thanks. Take care.